Hey guys, Donate Your Hands here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little cozy demo that I am very excited for. We are looking at Tiny Bookshop. This is a cute cozy game where you have your tiny little bookshop here and you take it all over the country basically you can kind of like figure out what kind of books you want to sell stuff like that um, it looks very cute very cozy as you can tell by the stack of books behind me i'm a huge reader as well so i'm very excited for this game to come out and i'm very excited that there's a demo so let's check it out first of all let me just check all of the settings i don't know what i wanted to say then Hide effect percentages for vibes. Ooh. Okay. I think sound and all that is good at the moment. Ooh. Oh, that's neat. We can change the colour of these if we want, but I, I like how they are. Um, okay. Let's start. Let's start a little adventure. I've got my cup of ice mocha here and let's do it today is the day i packed up my things oh we speeding leaving everything else behind look let's go we zoom in for a quiet life by the sea oh i would love to do that the ocean is like my favorite place to be it's just i find it so like calming and relaxing just to sit and look at the ocean tiny bookshop Waterfront Square, Monday, summer 1st. <gasps> Look at our tiny little bookshop. Ooh. We are open. Ooh, okay, so we've got crime. 29% with the number of books. 55. We've got 10 of those. 35. Ah. My, my, what a sight. You must be the new bookseller. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. What, how, like what, who are you? Uh, uh, oh, don't worry. I have my sources. Anyways, welcome to our quaint little town. I'm glad you've decided to stop by. I thought you might need someone to show you the ropes around here. I'm Tild. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement. Lovely to meet you. Let's see. You should know that us... Bookstonians have a very particular taste in books that we do. I, for example, prefer to read classic and crime novels and not much else. So, why don't I have a look at your selection and see if I can find something worthwhile? Is she looking. Ooh, okay, 3%. Okay. It's just a nice day. Bravo, you had the right book on hand. When a customer finds a book, they will keep looking for more. Same. Same. Another Stephen King for the shelf. Same. <gasps> a customer? Sadly, you didn't have the right book on offer. Oh, we've got three classics though, but not the one she was looking for. Even though you have books of the right genre, whether people actually take, oh, take one home depends on your sale chance. You can check your sale chance anytime by hovering over the genres on the right. So yeah, sale chance 32, oh, and I think it said plus 3 for tilt. The sale chance shows the odds that someone might find a book they like. Because the chance is based on how many books you have in your shop, right, okay, so that's why there's a 55% for the fact ones, because there's more of them. Makes sense. It will decrease as you run out of books throughout the day. Managing to sell the last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller. She checking out with one book. See you later. We got more people coming in. Oh, he got a travel book. Nice. And a classic. Nice. Money in my pocket. Oh, what's this? Money you made slash lost. Ah. Oh, we didn't have another classic that he wanted, but he got three books. Nice. Shiver me timbers. I love Babel. Ah, oh, Babel. That was a good book. I was a bit 50-50 on it, to be honest. Fern, while in the shop, 5% to something with the fact books. 
Uh, hi there. You're the bookseller, right? I see you already talked to Tild. Did she know everything about you already? <laughs> yeah, she does that. Told me all about the review before I'd even started my job there. Oh, um, I'm talking about the bookstore. Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened here in a while. So you'll have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you now. Um, how about you help me out by answering a few of my questions and I'll give you a free subscription in return. You might appreciate the events calendar and people often sell used books in the classifieds. Ooh. Right, so uh, for the record, what made you come to Buxtonbury? Needed an escape, searching for where I belong, wanted an adventure. Uh, wanted an adventure. Oh wow, I kind of feel the same way. I hope it works out for you. Okay, and what's your first impression of the town so far? Very, uh, windy. <laughs> intimidating. Friendly, I think. Don't worry, it really is. People might be a bit meddlesome, but they only have the best intentions. Thanks so much for the little interview, I really appreciate it. And I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by tomorrow morning. I'll have a look at your selection now if you don't mind. Uh, see you around. So yeah, 5% chance that he's going to buy fact books. Nice. Oh, this is so cosy, I like it. Just sitting here, just like, looking at people browsing at books. I'm like, oh, yes. Although it makes me want to go book shopping, and I'm like, I really don't need to go. Hey, look at this little girl, she running. Look at her go. You go, girl. Oh, night time. Time to go sleep. Here we go. Bookston re review filled with articles, events, and items for sale. Thanks, friend. Nice. Have a little sippy sip. Bookston re review reports the ongoings around town. Wow, this is a lot of information to take in. You can check today's and tomorrow's weather. Just in case it moves on, I'm just going to read this one page. So, Tiny Bookshop rolls into Buxtonbury. Buxtonbury newcomer turns new page. Impress locals, impresses locals with mobile bookshop. Have you ever dreamt of going on an adventure and starting a humble business abroad? That's precisely what this tiny bookshop entrepreneur has done, choosing our very own Buxtonbury as their latest destination. When asked about their first impression, the fresh-faced bookseller finds Buxtonbury to be very friendly. Find out more about this new and exciting shop by visiting the waterfront tomorrow. So it's sunny, there's no event, Saturday there's an event. Buxtonbury University announces tuition hike, student council walkout, controversy ensues. Keep an eye for upcoming events. Here you can see the money in your pocket. And all the books you own both in your shop and in storage, looks like you're already running a little low. In the classified section you can acquire used books to replenish your stock. Let's give it a try, click to buy. <gasps> Yes, okay. Let's go for the free one. This should come in handy. Maintaining a good stock of books is an important part of any book selling adventure. <gasps> wow, there was a lot in there. Okay, can we get more? Classify section will have some other bits and bobs. Let's pick up this lovely cactus. <gasps> yes, can I also get this one as well? A bit prickly but has a heart of gold. While equipped, plus two to travel sale. Plant, standing, whatever this is, small. Oh, is that maybe like scale? So it's decor is a plant, it stands so perhaps it doesn't like sit on anything and it's small. Close the newspaper by toggling. There, okay. I want more books though, please. Ooh, okay, that was good. If we do with some more crime, we're just running a little bit low on crime. Uh, we won't get any more then, we'll leave that for now. Let's give this lovely cactus a new home. This is your item bar. From here you can open the newspaper and customise your bookshop, amongst other things. Click here to customise your bookshop. Oh yes! This is your inventory. Click and drag an item to place it in your bookshop. So, oh okay, so it can sit on one of my little windowsills, nice. Or, oh, or it can sit outside! <gasps> Cute. Can I paint my little thing? 
Nice, you got a boost. Some items can increase your sale chance for certain genres or change the effectiveness of other items. Watch out though, sometimes this comes at the expense of another genre. Okay. Equipping some items will also increase your daily expenses, so keep that in mind. Okay. Hover over an item to check out what it does. So that's fine, so that doesn't give us any negatives. Very prickly but has a heart of gold. Yep. To remove an item, simply left click it. Oh, okay. Uh, right click it even. You can decorate in. Oh, inside or outside. Oh. Ooh. Actually, can I put my little cactus in here? <sighs> yes, start painting. Ooh, yes. I. Ooh, I quite like mint. Let's try mint. Oh, I can paint these. Oh. Ooh, okay. What colour do we want our shelves to be? Once satisfied with the interior decor, save here to return. Nice, we've got a book sign. Nice, and a table. Why not show some of the items? Guest book, people will leave some sweet messages. <gasps> wow, okay. Um, I think I kind of want to go for like these pastel y colours here as a theme. So, like the mint, this Petri chore, whatever, lavender, I'm just going to call it, and the blush. I want to do that. Ooh, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Actually. Seems a bit too... Ooh, that's kind of nice, though. Ooh, what about, like, a... Wait. Hmm... Kind of like that colour together. And then let's have the roof a little bit darker. For new things, let's hang our book sign there. So while equipped, we get 50% to hanging effects. Okay. Um, do we want the table inside or do we want it outside? Okay, we can only put the table here. That's fine. Uh, and let's put the guest book there. Let's actually move it there. Can I rotate this? There we go. That's fine though. Um, plus one to daily expenses. Okay, so it costs us one every day that we have it. And that's fine, but we get three more customers. Okay, I think we're done. Welcome to Booksnumber. Each day you can pick a location to visit on the map. Going to location has a travel cost, which is based on your daily expenses as well as parking fees for the location. You'll unlock more locations as you go. For now, let's pick the waterfront again. Oh, do I get to organise them on the shelves? Because yes. These are the books in your storage. Select a genre by clicking it to start stocking your shelves. Click a place to click to place the selected genre on your shelf click and drag to place multiple books Ooh, okay yeah. let's do that nice it's now in our shop stocking more books of a genre increase the odds of people finding a book they like within that genre check the sale chance by hovering over the books on the right okay so four five six seven and we've only got one, two, three, four shelves. We can move by clicking that. Okay. So, travel. Let's have some travel up here. Uh, fact. We've got fact down there, so let's get rid of those. Put you there. Fantasy. Let's put a couple more. There's a couple more travel down there. That's fine. Um, stock some more classics. So we've got crime, kids, fact, classic, fantasy, travel. So it's just drama that we don't have. There and then... I 
Okay, so we've got almost same amount of each. So let's go for like five each. And then there's no need to leave empty space, so what if we just do I don't know if my brain is going to like this. There. Ooh, travel is boosted, so let's actually make sure we've got another travel in there. Yeah, my brain's not a fan of what's happening down here, but... We'll roll with it. We'll, we'll do it. Like I said, my brain's not a, a, too much of a huge fan of what's happening down there, but we'll just ignore it. It's the bottom shelf. We can't see it. Oh, look how cute! Did you notice you can look around? No. Wow. Nice. I got. I just stole that from there. That's fine. Uh, plus two to travel. Nice. Anything else? Is that it? <gasps> Puppy! Oh, such a good boy. Give him more the pets. Oh, best feature. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's open. Yes, now we wait for people to come. What is this? What does this mean? Oh, you can also buy books and items while out and about. Ooh, okay. Nice, nice. But they'll be put into storage. That's fine. And then we can access them the next day. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Okay, let's wait for people to come. Welcome to my tiny bookshop. These people turn up. Where's the doggo? Make us feel better. Someone's here. A customer. We got that travel. Oh, we didn't have the classic that he wanted. That's fine. He take just a travel. To be fair, they're forty percent because we've got quite a few. They've got quite high stakes, so that's fine. Oh, he had a wheelchair. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, is he going to write in the guest book? Oh no, I thought he was. We got that fantasy. William Morris. John Ruskin. Oh, he didn't have the travel he wanted. Ah, there you are. I wanted to commend you on how much you've been livening up this place. I'm sure you'll want to branch out to other places in town now. My friend Mary owns a very successful cafe in the town centre. If I call her up and get you and get her to give you a parking space, you could get quite a few visitors. <gasps> yes. Yes, I know, dear. You can always trust me on these sorts of things. It's decided then. Meet me out by the cafe, Liberty, as soon as you can. Nice, so cute. Challenge unlocked. Meet Tilde at the cafe. Tilde asks you to meet her at the cafe in time. It seems like she won't accept no for an answer. Oh, and while we're on the topic of showing your face, I heard our dear Walter was quite impressed with your wagon. He's one of the local fishers. Why don't you go over there and introduce yourself? He should be back from his recent catch just now. Introduce yourself to Walter. Introduce yourself to Walter the sailor. He's usually talking to his seagull friend at the waterfront. You might want to write this down, love. Have an organised diary. Having an organised diary will come in handy in uh -huh. our business. You know what? I still have quite a few unsold journals left over from my old uh -huh. shop. Yes! I love a good journal. I never write in them, but I do love a good journal. So here, why don't you take this one? <laughs> nice! Keep all of my planning needs. Thanks, Tilde. Here you go. I hope you make good use of it. Goodbye. <gasps> I got that journal. Open at any time to check your progress. Just click the journal in my item bar. Here you can track which genres you've sold the most of. Useful for adjusting your selection. This is the total number of books that you've sold here. Let's see if you can beat Tilde's record. Check back here for hints and events as you discover more. Looks like this page holds little postage stamps to mark your moments in Buxtonbury. You'll collect these stamps as you're making new contributions around town. Oh, that's cute. 
You can also see your progress towards stamps as well as hints and extra info. Hover over the stamp for more information. Ahoy matey! Introduce him, yet yeah, he's normally talking to his friend. Click on the arrows in the corners to flip to another page. Oh, the cafe it looks so cute. Okay. Cozy establishment overlooking the historical town square. It's owned by Tilde's friend. We've got zero out of six stamps here and we've sold none. Can't go any further that way. Uh, we've got zero out of five stamps here. It's quiet. Okay. Neat. Oh, we got lots of people in the shop. Oh, Tilt's still in the shop. Cool. Wow, we're selling lots of books. Uh, hey, what are you doing here? Our uh, weather correspondent at the paper said that today will be the hottest day of the year, so I assumed you'd be at the beach like everyone else. Oh. I'm so sorry, I already forgot that you're new. You just seem to fit in so easily. I... So sorry. Um, sorry. Here, I'll show you how to get to Far Beach in case you want to drop by there soon. <gasps> So it's a popular destination for families in the summer. Visit the beach three times. Get to know the beach by visiting three times. I'm not really a beach person myself, but I'm sure the crowd there will need some of your reading material. Ooh, okay. So is the fisherman here? There he is. Hi. Ahoy there, kiddo. How's it going? Sam collected. Introduce yourself to Walter the Sailor. Looks like you've got a good sturdy vessel there. I've got some old lightum lightums. I've got some old items lying around which I thought you might like. See if any of it is to your liking. We can get a raw fish. Why do we need a raw fish? Do we get a cat? If we get a pet, then I'll have a raw fish. Um, I don't really want any of these for now. Like the little life thing. That's cute, but it's 40 coins and I kind of want to keep my 40 coins for now. My friends tell me you've got some decent cargo on board too. They've been specially enjoying your travel and classic novels. Guess I'll have to be careful or I might be outsold by you. Why don't we make a bet? If you can make 20 sales to my buddies, I'll admit defeat. Sell 20 books to local sailors. Introduce the locals to your literary selection. Sell 20 books. Oh, I'm looking forward to a little competition. Competition. Well, I really can't talk today. Oh, I'm looking forward to a little competition, kiddo. Good luck. Hey, okay. How are we doing on books? We're doing not too bad, actually, to be fair. Oh, this person getting three books. Oh, and again, four books? Yes. Oh, uh, but we didn't have the fact book they wanted. Hey, bye friend. See you next time. Off they go. And that's it. Uh, let's shop for today. Uh, off we go. Looks like some items have been discounted a little. Now might be a good time to buy them. Ooh, so is the cooler discounted? Oh, that's cute. Like that. Oh no, this has been discounted. Although you could wait longer and risk someone else buying them first. Items in the seasonal section have a much slower turnover, so there's no need to hurry. Be sure to snatch them up before the season ends. Oh, I kind of... I want this. I uh, don't want the cooler. It adds one to our daily expense, but that's fine. Uh, how much have I got? I've got 48, so... Get this. Nice, we stocked up on the kids. I'm gonna get this. It's zero, so I feel like it's just worth getting because it has a general good selection of things. And sure, why not? This is like me in real life with books. I'm like, yeah, why not? Nice, so we've got a pretty good selection. Buxton Bree's love of books. New tiny bookshop sparks passionate discussions mere days after their arrival on the scene. The mobile seller has Buxton Bree's literature scene abuzz. 
but what makes for a pleasant browsing experience. According to Tilde Sanglund, former bookstore owner, the secret lies in selection. The more books that match a customer's tastes, the higher the chances they will find what they're looking for. For those readers who might not yet know what to look for, the review recommends seeking the assistance of your local bookseller. So today, so tomorrow it's going to be rainy, um, but so tomorrow might be a good day to swing by the cafe rather than the beach. Breaking, Mariam spotted a day off. No one recall when and if this last happened. Okay, we've got new things to customise our little bookshop with. Uh, yeah, let's put the newspapers there. And I think that's it. We did. Oh yeah, we picked up this little buoy. Uh, this little guy. Let's hang him there. Cute. And let's go back. Ow. To the cafe. Okay. Wow, yeah, okay. Everything is out. Travel. Let's pop back a lot of travel. Uh, let's take one fact out and actually do a little bit more classic. There, and then we'll put a fact book down here. None of the kids' books went. Um, let's do let's do another travel as well. There, that's good. I'm happy with that one. Cafe Liberté. Oh yes, this is so cozy. Okay, anything cute around here that we can have? Maybe things we can put on our little our little shop? No. Me tilt at the cafe. Oh, that would be so nice, honestly. Just to have a little, like, book thing. Just go in, get a little book from the little tiny bookshop. Go and sit and drink your little, like, cappuccino or whatever. That just oh, sounds so nice and cosy. Hi, Tilde. Hmm. There you are. It seems like Mariam has her hands full with the cafe again, but she told me to give you her best. Now, I have something you might help me with. I've been cleaning out my old shop for months now, selling small pieces on the flea market. This Saturday I'm trying to move the more bulky items to the market. Help an old bookseller out, will you? They'd fit well into that little wagon of yours. Just pick them up and bring them with you to the market on Saturday. I'll owe you and I'll make sure there'll be loads and loads of customers in it for you. Nice, okay. Pick all of... Pick up all five of Tilt's items at the cafe. Check by Tilt Old Bookshop, pick up all of her moving boxes. Okay. So we need to do that by Saturday, was it? She said, because that's when the thing is. Oh, the beach. Oh, the beach. Okay. So is her bookshop here then? <gasps> it's here. Nice. We got it all. Build stuff. So that's you'd kind of deliver these mystery boxes to the flea market. Wonder what's inside. While equipped, we are encumbered. Ooh. I think that's fine, though. Sometimes people ask for help if they can't find what they're looking for. Click the bubble to help them. They won't wait forever. Listen closely to people's requests and try to pick up on what kind of book they're looking for. People also leave a lot of their likes and dislikes unsaid, so make sure you put yourself in their shoes. Time to read something that's not assigned reading. I'm going on a trip soon and I'm looking for a true challenge to my wits. However, I don't want to read any more about war. Now let's look for a book that might pique their interest. Uh, here you can see important information about a book, including a short description. Do you think this one is a good match? 
War still raged in the Seven Kingdoms, the lands of the Osoyaf. Oh, a sword of something fantasy series, I'm guessing. Oh, George R. R. Martin. Okay. A song of ice and fire fantasy series. Lines was made just as quick as they were broken. Don't even get me started on the weddings. Okay, so she doesn't want to read about any more war. Looking for something to challenge her wits. Would you find a match? Try recommending it to them. Um. Something challenging, but not war. Maybe a classic? Emma, Journey to the West. Based on folk tales. Ooh, that might be a good one. But Hamlet. When aliens invade Earth, all the worlds. Frankenstein. That's really cute that it's actual books. Oh, Shatter Me. I love that series. That is such a good series. I didn't realise they were going to be actual, like, book books. That has just blown my mind a little bit, if I'm honest. Ooh, ex Libris books to me, I'm guessing this one used to be in the library and we they had a clear out and we took it. I think I might go this one. Because she's going on a trip. She's looking for challenge to her wits. And I'm thinking, you know, a classic. They don't tend to be too, like, fast-paced or anything. Um... It's based on folk tales and legends. It's Chinese classic, so not necessarily about a war. Let's try that one. Oh, I did not manage to find something for this person. How is this going to help me book? Oh, she wanted help booking the vacation. Okay, okay, okay. Better luck next time. Sorry, that was me being dumb and not reading as usual. I was too distracted by the fact that they were all actual books. I just love Edith Wharton. Oh dear, okay, the pressure. So dear, anything I haven't read. I love to read something classic. I can always go for a classic. Also looking for something with a quirky investigator. Hmm. I don't really think we have anything. Go for a classic whodunit. Um, the Maze Runner, no. Maybe Sherlock Holmes? Uh, ink heart. Let's do Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Great, you might have just found someone's favourite book. Marvellous, I've been meaning to read The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, no problem. <gasps> nice, okay. They'll buy this one and keep shopping. Neat, okay, we did it, we did good. I didn't mess up this time. Oh, plus seven while we have all of her stuff. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, we're at classics. Time to read something that's not a sign reading. I don't mind a dull book. I'm looking for a piece of real literature. So she wants a classic and we don't have any. Um, maybe go for a drama book? Maybe the Dylan Thomas poems? Mm. All much to do about nothing. This is tricky. Uh, let's 
let's do much ado about nothing. I don't think that's right. Ooh, okay, nice. She liked it. That was good. Let's have a look here, because we can always buy stuff, but we can't stock up while we're here. Oh, it's a nice sunny day today. I thought it was rainy. But I suppose the newspaper does it um, beforehand. Uh, does it like on that morning. So it's rainy tomorrow in game. Nice, we actually sold a few kids books, which is nice. Uh, we didn't have the crying one, but only an 18% chance, so. <gasps> Thanks. Come again soon. And let's shut up. And off we go. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the demo. Oh, that was so nice. Thank you for playing our demo. We hope you enjoyed your stay in Buxtonbury. You can support us by wishlisting on Steam and joining our Discord. I'll have links to both of those, if I can, down in the description for you guys as well. See you there. Oh, that was so good. That was so cute. That was nice. That was really cute and cozy. Oh, okay, can we keep playing? How much more can we play? Uh, ooh, a coffee machine. That's expensive. Saturday market, bigger than ever. Organisers expect record turnout due to perfect weather conditions at our town's traditional flea market in time. Weekend visitors can once again browse, haggle, and buy their hearts. Buy to their hearts' content. Stores will offer a variety of vintage clothing, artwork, plants, homewares, records, and more. But whether visitors will go for a fresh selection of books remains to be seen. Staff tip: Turning up between nine and eleven will guarantee the best bargains. Okay, keep that in mind. It's waning. Ooh, unlabeled. Find in the attic. Uh, yeah. We'll have it. Neat. And we will also do this one. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. And then we don't really have much money for anything else. Um, tilled stuff. We can't. Okay. We can unequip it, but we need to remember to equip it by Saturday in the game. Because otherwise our daily expenses goes from 2 to plus 9. So we'll do that for the time being. Oh yeah, that was it. Thank you for playing our demo. Oh. Cute. That was so adorable. Um. So yeah, there we go. That was Tiny, um, tiny Bookshop. Please, like I said, go wishlist it on Steam. This looks adorable. I can't wait for this to come out. Uh, I've been super excited for it ever since. I think it was on a Wholesome Games I first saw it on one of their like showcases. So yeah, I'm very excited for this. It's really cute, really cozy, um, and I can't wait to play it. Thank you all for coming to hang out and watch Tiny Bookshop. I'm so excited for this to come out. Uh, for more cozy games and things that I'll be doing, please hit subscribe. Uh, go follow on Twitch. That's where I do a lot of games um, first. They will always come to YouTube after but if you want to see them first that's where they'll be um yeah thank you so much for coming to hang out and i will see all you guys in the next video take care bye